What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and welcome back to my Top 10 Tweaks Part 16 video, where I'm going to be showing you a collection of brand new tweaks I've never shown you before on this channel that both help you get more functionality from your device and make it look cooler. Basically, customize your device to make it more personal. Now, if you guys are running iOS 8.2 jailbreak, the beta 2 or beta 1, if you've managed to survive with it, then this will work with it. A lot of these tweaks have been updated and do support the newer version, and if you guys are holding out on iOS 8.1.2, of course, that is compatible as well. Now I've got this running on an iPhone 6. All of these tweaks are compatible with all devices and most of them do work with iPads as well. Now of course you guys do need to be jailbroken. If you're not, you can find out all about that on my channel. Unfortunately, iOS 8.2 has no current jailbreak right now. We are hoping for one towards the end of the month. If you guys want to get all the news on that, you can click on that video right there. It will take you to the iOS 8.2 jailbreak update where I share all the latest news with you. And of course, if you guys want to get the full article list, you will also need a few custom sources. You guys can get all of that down there as well as the wallpaper I'm using and I'll throw in a couple bonus tweaks there as well. So I'm excited to share these with you. There are a lot of nice ones, a lot that add functionality. Let's go ahead and get started and check out all of these new tweaks. Now let's start off with a very simple one. It's called bio boot and there's not much in the settings pane. You just can enable it off and on and the boot time. So what this tweak pretty much does is it allows you to use your touch ID sensor even when restarting your device. Now this could potentially be dangerous, but if you're not planning on losing your phone, then this is a nice tweak to have. So it's pretty convenient. You know how every time you restart your device, you always have to put in the passcode each time. Well, it can be annoying. And this tweak allows you to bypass that. Just put in your touch ID and you can get into the phone every time after restarting your device. Really cool. And there you go. So my device has restarted. Usually it would ask me to put in the passcode every single time, but now I could just go ahead and put in my touch ID and boom, I'm in. Basically adds the convenience of being able to use your touch ID sensor after restarting without needing to put in the passcode every Every single time. Now, if you guys noticed my lock screen, it's actually super elegant. This is a combination of lock HTML4 and ACVO, or at least I think that's how you say it. So it's AKVO, and it adds this very minimalistic looking lock screen that I absolutely love. So it adds the time down below, which you can put in military up on top. You just have this guy right here, and you could move this to the side and put a little weather widget on the side with another add on, but it's a very nice tweak. You know, you can slide it very well. It works really nice. I just noticed there is one issue when you get notifications they kind of overlay it so that could be a problem but you could disable those using this tweak as well so anyways let me show you the settings inside you're going to access the settings through lock html4 you can select the widget and these are my recommended settings so in akvo we're going to select that and every time you go in it resets all the settings that could be a little bit annoying i don't like 24 hour mode i don't live in europe so i don't really need that right now the advanced design is something you would select if you want the weather widget i'm just going to use uh, this guy right here i want fahrenheit and if you guys want black letters you can use that right here thicker font is what i do recommend so that's how i get these settings very nice and elegant lock screen for your device now here's Korea, a more advanced quick reply for ios 8 i'm going to go ahead and send myself a text message and once that does pop up here you can drag this down now and now you get a full menu layout a more advanced version of that little quick reply up there you can actually go through the entire conversation up here which is really cool reply and once you do reply it just goes away super cool let me go ahead and show you how it works from the lock screen so very similar from the lock screen if you just slide oh and by the way this is what i meant the notifications overlap the acvo which could be a little bit annoying but if you go ahead and slide over and select reply right here you get the same menu which is really Really cool. Now this is still in beta and you do need a source for this, but I found that it does work very well. It's being updated regularly and it adds more functionality to the quick reply on iOS 8. Now this is a really simple one. It's called auto rotate vids. And let me explain something to you. When I'm going to watch a video on the internet or maybe I'm in Reddit or something, I don't want to have to go in and disable orientation lock every single time. Well, that's where this tweak comes in handy. It's super useful because every time you open up any video on YouTube, when it starts playing, it automatically goes into landscape mode, which could save you a lot of hassle of having to go into your control center every single time, disabling this, rotating your iPhone, and then having to repeat the process. And I like to keep my iPhone on orientation lock, so this really makes sense for me. It's called auto rotate videos, and definitely save yourself a headache in the future by downloading this. It's a very light and simple tweak. Definitely would recommend it. Next here is EDM phone dials. So I actually saw this guy on Reddit, a really cool tweak, and I found out how to install it. You do need a custom source as well. Of course, that is down below in the description if you guys want to install it. It replaces the sound dial on your actual phone dialer with EDM music synthesizers. So anyways, let me go ahead and give you a demo. It's really quiet unless you have headphones in, but 
here it is. Anyways, that was from the video uh, made available online. It's actually really cool playing around with this. You know how you have your regular dial tones, this replaces them with a really cool EDM set. Uh, so. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know, but it's pretty cool to play around with. The guy actually has a video, which I could link down below in the description, where he actually does a full song on this. It's so cool. It's really mesmerizing to watch, but definitely check it out, play around with it a little bit. It hasn't been updated for iOS 8, so it is a little bit quiet, but it's still a lot of fun. Definitely check it out. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, up on the top right of my iPhone, my battery icon has been replaced with Zelda Life Heart, which I think is a super cool little tweak. Now, this is not limited to this guy. There are several themes, and it's called Lithium. Now, the previous replacement was called Alkaline. They're incredibly similar, but Lithium is ultimately the better one because it's less CPU intensive. It uses JavaScript instead of loading PNGs and uh, JPEG images. So it's better for your battery life and your processor. It's not gonna run in the background like Alkaline would. So Lithium is a much better replacement to that. Let me show you, there are some replacements in here. So uh, this is the one I have, Zelda Hearts. This one I actually do like as well, and you do have to respring for it to take effect. Let me do that real quick. And there is the other one. So there are a few to choose from, and of course you can download more from Cydia if you so choose. I would definitely recommend the Zelda one with a red wallpaper like this. It looks really neat, especially for all those Zelda fans out there. And you can actually use the other tweak that changes your carrier logo to the Triforce symbol as well, which would be a really cool combo. Anyways, definitely check that one out as well. Now here's Android Lock XT, and it brings that Android Lock screen pattern over to iOS. And it has just received a new update which made it much more stable. And let me just show you how it works. I mean, if you've ever used an Android phone with this, it's a really cool way to unlock your device. Not the most secure way because people can see it on the smudges, but it is a nice feature to bring over to iOS from Android. And this is my pattern right here. If you do lose the pattern, there's a really easy way to reset it, but you can set the pattern any way you like. And it works so well, especially with Touch ID. You can always use Touch ID to bypass it. So you can enable it, disable it, and changing the pattern in here, just like you would change a passcode in iOS, you can select themes as well. Let me try that one right there. And it changes it to a darker theme, which I do prefer. Now here's Lock Info 8. This is a direct replacement for the Notification Center on iOS 8. It actually imports the Notification Center onto your iOS 8 lock screen. And here you have your Today View, which you know will tell you all of your events, all the widgets you put in your Notification Center. They will appear here. You have your clock and then weather over here. Slide over and here is your Notification View. All of your notifications will appear here. Slide over once more and here is the current weather that's set to the first position. So definitely a cool little replacement to the iOS 8 lock screen. I could see a lot of people liking this if you do like IntelliScreen X, but I like having my notifications on the very first pane right here. But it is a really useful little tweak and it's pretty well made as well. Now there are a few settings for it as well and here they are. Now you can disable some of the panes as well. If you choose not to have the today view, your notification view can be on the very first device. And yeah, you do have to pay for it, but you do get a two week trial. So if you guys wanna check it out, you could. Pretty extensive app, but for those of you that like having information right there, this is definitely for you. Now here's Mark as Red 8, and this is something I personally really need. Now if you go to your notifications view, and I'm gonna go back, there's some emails in here. If you actually click on the X and clear it, the badge on the actual app will disappear as well. So I no longer have 5,000 emails I gotta check. How cool is that? So if there's any app that has a badge on it that you wanna clear, you don't wanna go in and clear every single notification, Mark as Red 8 will erase the badge from the app when you do clear it in here. And lastly, here's Act Actica, and you do need a custom source for this guy as well. And with Actica allows you to actually share music or music information to your friends or anybody who you choose. So if you go into a song, you now have a button for share down here. Now you can either share the song information, say, hey, I'm listening to this by airdrop, message, I mean, you have all these choices right here, or you can share the actual song using this icon right here. And I like using it over airdrop because it's super quick, just like that, someone else can have that song and it will import right away into their music application. If you guys don't wanna use any drop or the blue sharing application, this is a very good replacement for it. And guys, that concludes my top 10 tweaks part 16 video where I shared 10 new tweaks I haven't shown you guys before on this 
channel. I do hope you enjoy these tweaks. I in particular like the little Zelda hearts up there. Really fun little tweak. And the Android Lock XT is really cool to see on iOS as well. Now for those of you that are in Envy, you can't do this because you're not jailbroken. I have hope because towards the end of this month, we are likely to see an iOS 8.2 jailbreak. Make sure to stay tuned. I am posting a lot of update videos showing you guys what's new and what's going on in the jailbreak scene. So there will be an event towards the end of this month where a lot of jailbreak developers are coming together. Hopefully as a result, we can see a jailbreak towards the end of this month as predicted. Also next month, a ton coming out, the Apple Watch, new MacBooks, Galaxy S6, HTC One M9. I have so much stuff to show you and I'm really excited to make all of those videos. Hope you enjoyed this one guys. Have a great day. Enjoy all of these tweaks. Peace.